Hi, this is Alexis from the Kite Border Magazine. I'm here in Hood River at the Duotone with Mr. Sky Solback, and we're talking about the new Duotone kites. We're talking about some new Duotone kites. We're pretty excited. I know you're excited. What do you want to know about first? The Neo. Okay, we got the Neo right here. Bam, that worked out well. That was not planned. Okay, so uh, this is the Neo. I think uh, anyone who's familiar with our kite line probably knows this kite. This is our dedicated wave kite. Uh, this year we've gone even a step further to make it even more dedicated for waves. Um, we've also uh, added a little bit of power in the kite, so a little bit bigger leading edge, a little bit deeper canopy. So you can ride probably almost like a meter smaller than you probably could last year. Um, and when I say that it's more of a wave kite, it means uh, we've made some changes that make it drift even better, sit a little deeper in the window, a little bit more power, and we've added a little bit of a straight section in the leading edge here, which uh, makes it really resistant to backstalling and also really good drifting, but also lets it flex in a way which improves the turning. So, um, yeah, dedicated wave kite, great drifting, great turning, lots of power. Four or five line? Four line or five line if you want the safety. Okay. Yep. Now let's move on to the next one. Okay. All right, we're going to check out the Vegas. This is our dedicated wake style kite. So these little guys, these are, you know, our team riders love to ride this kite uh, for doing all the wake tricks. Has really good slack for doing handle passes. Great on the rails. Really good for doing big mega loops. Um, not a lot of changes from last year in the Vegas. Um, the team riders were really happy with it. Uh, Ralph, who designs this kite in Germany, uh, spends a lot of time testing with the team down in Cape Town. Guys like Aaron Hadlow, Craig Cunningham, and the guys just love this kite for the style of riding that they do. Okay. okay so we got the All right, then we got the dice. The dice. So the dice is a little bit of a crossover kite. It's like uh, a freestyle slash wave kite. So it's like, you can think of it as a little bit of a tuned down Vegas. So it's like 70% freestyle wake style and about 30% wave. So that's kind of how we position this kite in the range. Uh, it's a three strut kite really C-shaped, great for boosting, great for doing big loops, uh, unhooked tricks, but also has pretty good drift and really good turning, so it's also great on the waves. What do we have next? It's getting windy, folks, as you can see. All right, here we've got the Evo. So the Evo is a three-strut uh, performance free ride kite. So this is uh, a great kite for jumping and boosting and just all around great free ride kite on three struts. And then down here we've got the Rebel. Uh, Rebel has had a huge following for a lot of years. Last year we made a really big change to the Rebel, going from five lines to four lines. Um, so this year we've made more minor improvements on it. A um, little bit better resistance to backstall, a little bit smaller leading edge so it flies a little farther forward in the window and that gives you a little bit more vertical jumps. Not huge changes, but small refinements. So it's our high performance free ride kite, five struts. It's the kite you want if you ride really powered up on a twin tip and you want to go out and just boost and send it to the moon. Now I know we didn't go over all the size and all the other technical features. Where can they go for that? They can go to duotonesports.com and check out everything. It's all up there on the website. Thank you so much, Sky. Thank you, guys. Hi, this is Alexis from the Kite Border Magazine. We're here in Hood River, AWSI. I'm here with Ben Skaggs, and we're here at the Duotone booth, and we're here to talk about your clicker bars. Our click bars and our trust bars. And the trust bar. Yeah, you gotta trust something, right? We trust all the time. Okay, so for 2019 with Duotone, um, no major upgrades with the trust bar. We still have two sizes, which is the small, medium, and, or small, medium, and medium, large bars that are completely adaptable to different widths of your lines just to slow down or speed up your uh, kite steering. But I mean, standard bar, just like all previous models, no major updates here. The newest introduction to the lineup is the small click bar or mini click, which is what I like to call it. We have a narrower bar and also the line length, instead of it being 22 to 24 meters in height, it's at 20 to 22. So you have a shorter line set and you have a smaller bar just for when you're riding the smaller kites slows it down a little bit or for smaller riders you know girls love to slow down the kites and they're usually on something small to begin with and this is right for them again no major major changes mechanically everything is still the same as previous years with the click bar just a new model
Okay. For more of the other technical stuff, so in the bar, where can they go? They can go to duotonesports.com. Thank you.